This iNew 140 watt power bank is pretty good. This thing is actually in my top five. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. What can I say? I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. When it comes to capacity, this is one of the bigger ones you can get. Now this thing's got three ports and they're kind of annoying. There's two USB-C and one USB-A, but because USB-C is a dumpster fire, to charge this pack, you can only use one of the USB-C ports, not both of them. This one, why? I do have to point out that this one port is EPR rated. This thing has the potential output of a 140 watts, which is crazy. The other port's capped at 45 watts, so it's just kind of useless in my opinion. Now this product looks like it has a massive smart screen, but in reality, it's very tiny, and it's probably one of the ugliest ones that I've tested because everything just looks really, really thin, really, really hard to read. Screen would tell you the basics in terms of overall percentage charge rates, as well as how long it will take to charge or discharge. Now this power bank supports a ton of different charge rates. I personally would have wanted to see a three amp PPS protocol, but ultimately this thing is definitely geared to powering a uh, monster laptop, like a MacBook Pro. Now when I came to charge tests, I did run some issues with the PPS portion. It kept resetting. It kept resetting all my meters. In terms of accuracy and stability for the PDO rates, they were very average, but they were better than average for the PPS rates. Now in my discharge testing, I managed to pull 61 watt hours against the stated 92 and a half watt hours. That may seem low, but that's a very average ratio. And when it came to recharging this bank, it was bloody, bloody fast. Keep in mind that this is a massive battery pack and it's one of the fastest. Charging this thing is faster than charging my iPhone. Now when it came to heat, this product ran a little hotter during the discharge and a little cooler during the Heard, so not quite sure what that's about. In terms of weight and size, this thing weighs almost 500 grams. It's pretty hefty. But the overall energy density of this product is better than average. Finish of this product isn't too bad. The screen area is very glossy and prone to fingerprinting. The rest of the product has a uh, kind of soft rubber coating to it. And so if you're very, very greasy, you'll end up uh, not liking the greasy look of this product. When it comes to price and value, this thing is going to set you back $81. That seems like a lot, but this is a big power bank. But if we break down the price per watt, it's just a hair more expensive than average. So would I get this product if I wasn't a reviewer? It's ranked number five out of uh, 14. I would. Why? Because of the 140 watt output. You get this, you're basically future proofing your battery pack needs for, I don't know, three to five years maybe? I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery banks are in 2025. If you are planning on getting one of these products, make sure, like this one, make sure you use my links. No one's paying me to make this review. I just want to find out what the best tech is out there. Thanks for watching.